Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I benchmark my flash drives. Now I tend to have a lot of flash drives around because um, you know I use them for various things. I like to have a flash drive with Windows 10 on it so that I can install it onto a computer or maybe some different versions of Linux like Kali Linux or uh, Debian or Ubuntu or something like that. It's handy to have it already on a flash drive so I can just install it whenever I need to instead of having maybe just one flash drive where you know, you're constantly having to wipe it and repurpose it. It's nice to have multiple flash drives for multiple purposes. But typically I do tend to have one flash drive I use more than any other flash drive, and that would be the one that I would use to transfer files between computers. And right now that's currently this one. And this, this flash drive is amazing. This is the Patriot Supersonic Rage 2, and it's so fast. It's the fastest flash drive I've ever used. It's amazing. And unfortunately, you can't get these anymore. I don't know why, but Patriot has stopped making them. So you can't get them. And if you do see it for sale anywhere, it's way overpriced. So right now, I'm sort of um, looking for a replacement for that drive. And, um, you know, I've been buying some various drives, and I've been benchmarking them, trying to find one that would be good enough to replace the supersonic rage too but i really don't think it's going to be possible and so these are some that i've that i've tried this is the data traveler uh, 100 you know it's it's a good solid drive but it's not very quick um this little sandisk drive is actually pretty good you know it's still not as fast as the supersonic but this one is actually also kind of nice because it'll work with an android phone and you can also get adapters like this where you know you can use it in a regular usb port so that makes it really versatile. These are nice to have. Uh, the SATA, uh, these are cheap and they're big, but they are slow. Um, this one, this little uh, SanDisk here, this is a pretty good one. And this is nice if you want to have a drive, say, plugged into your laptop all the time. It doesn't protrude, so it's kind of nice to have. And so here are some other ones that I've bought. Um, again, this is just the same as the ADATA. Haven't uh, tried those yet. And then I have these two, and I'm excited about these two. I really can't wait to benchmark these, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to benchmark these drives today. You know, I don't think they're going to be as good as the Supersonic Rage 2, but uh, they're probably going to be good enough, I'm assuming. But um, I'm going to find out. All right, I'm going to start with the 128. Uh, one, one thing that's important when you're benchmarking a flash drive is you want to make sure that you're using the best port that you have available on your computer. The first test I'd like to start with is sort of a real world test. Oftentimes when I use the thumb drive it's to copy files from one computer to another and usually they're fairly large files. So I'm going to do this test with a two gigabyte file and I'm going to go ahead and start a stopwatch here and copy it to the thumb drive. And I'll let you know as soon as the light shuts off on the thumb drive. Okay, it just went off. When I review the video later, I'll get a more precise uh, reading from the stopwatch. Next, I'm going to copy the movie from the thumb drive to the computer. Before I do that real quick, I do want to make sure that I clear the cache you don't want that to skew the results. Go ahead and start, start the stopwatch. And then I'll let you know as soon as, uh, as soon as the light stops again on this one. And now. The light's still going. Now. So I will uh, tally that information later and update my website. Next, let's go ahead and test um, with DD. This will simulate a lot of smaller files being written to the drive. And I use the same command every time, and I have it here on my website. Also, this is where I keep the benchmark results for the flash drives that I've tested. So let's go ahead and do this command. And I could just copy and paste this. Essentially what this is doing is uh, it's taking an input file of zero data, and the output file is going to be um, just a test file. Uh, simulated files will be about 10 megabytes each and it'll write a hundred of them. So that'll be about a gigabyte. And we don't have to worry about a stopwatch on this one because DD will give us the results of the test. 
And there we go, it took a little over three seconds. In this test, I like to run a couple of times. Obviously, there's a big difference between those two times. Let's run it one more time. And I just remembered I should be watching to make sure that the light shuts off before I do it again. So let's do it one more time since we have one that's like a lot different than the others. I think that was my fault. So we're looking at about um, 312 megabytes per second. So I'll actually go ahead and use this time for the results, just to be fair. I always like to lean towards the slower side, you know, just to be fair. All right, uh, next I will go ahead and I will test the 256 gig drive. So let's uh, put that in. One thing I like about these Patriot drives is that uh, they're empty, you know. Don't you love it when you plug in a brand new, fresh thumb drive and it's got a bunch of crap on it? <laughs> no, nobody likes that. So, good job, Patriot. I hope you keep that up. All right, here we go. I'll let you know as soon as the light shuts off. All right. That was, that was quicker than the other drive, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and delete that. Clear the cache. Another thing that's important when testing these drives is that uh, the drive that you're copying it to and from should be faster than the drive you're testing. And in this case it is. I'm, I'm running an SSD which is capable of about 500 megabytes per second. So more than fast enough than the drive. Uh, okay. And the light shut, shut off now. Okay. All right, that was pretty quick. All right. Um, now let's go ahead and test with DD. Okay, that's pretty quick. It's about the same speed as the 128 drive. Let's try it one more time here. Actually, we'll try it two more times. Just wait a couple of seconds. All right. So I will go ahead and use these as the results of that test, these figures here. And then I will tally the other benchmark results and I'll update this chart. All right, I updated the chart on my website. And um, so let's talk about the 256 gig drive first. So now when I reviewed the video footage, I went frame by frame to um, look at the stopwatch results and then I you know, just subtracted, subtracted the difference. And I mean, these results aren't perfect, but they're, they're pretty close. Um, so the, on the right test, it was able to copy the two gigabyte file in 9.31 seconds, which is about 219 or about 220 megabytes per second write speed. And the read was about seven seconds or 294 megabytes per second. And then, of course, I just copied those DD results right there. Also, keep in mind, this is one of the reasons why um, I like to do a real-world test compared to DD. Because, I mean, look at the results here with the 128 gigabyte. You know, the write speed was 138 megabytes, but DD read it as 312. I mean, sometimes, you know, benchmarking programs will be a little bit misleading, right? And so yeah, so let's look at the um, the 128 gig. As you can see, it's um, it's quite a bit slower than the 256. Um, I mean, about half the speed, which makes sense. I think that the way that they do that is they have multiple chips in there, and it's sort of like RAID zero. I think is is kind of how they do it, and that's how they're able to make the larger drives faster. So it would be interesting to test a 512 or maybe even a one terabyte, but. What I have learned from these results, though, is that the Elite 256 is pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as the Rage 2, but it's definitely good enough, and that's probably going to be my go-to drive from now on until I find something faster. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. Bye.